New details tonight in the state attorney general's investigation into a former nursing home in Boston Spa. The AG and federal officials have found the nursing home was running an unlicensed operation and neglecting residents. Now, those in charge have to pay up millions of dollars in settlement money. News 10's Juliana Bruno joining us live in the studio to break down the investigation. Lydia and Trishna, Ari Schwartz and Jeffrey Vegg went through a months long vetting process by the state DOH in 2014 to operate the Saratoga Center for Rehabilitation and Skilled Nursing Care. Years later, their landlord replaced them with people who didn't have the proper licenses and what followed were reports of lapses in care of the residents who lived there. Nursing homes are supposed to protect the health and well-being of their residents. U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of New York, Carla Friedman, said that's not what happened at the Saratoga Center, saying that instead a business dispute between the operators and landlord led to dangerous conditions for residents and staff and caused the submission of false claims to Medicaid for worthless services. Friedman and Attorney General Letitia James secured the settlement from the owners of the 257-bed facility, operator Jack Jaffa, and landlord Leon Malone who have to pay back $7.16 million for the false Medicaid claims. A.G. James saying they, quote, repeatedly violated the law for their own benefit. The settlement details how the Saratoga Center was not sufficiently staffed and did not consistently prevent medication errors, keep residents from falling and getting hurt, and that failure to pay vendors caused issues like not having enough linen and being unable to maintain proper plumbing. The owners and operators have been excluded from participating in Medicaid and Medicare for at least 10 years. And while it's been closed for a few years, the building and signage for the Saratoga Center remain at 149 Boston Ave. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.